My friends, we're going to evaluate the integral of x to the fourth times e to the negative x squared from zero to infinity. This is a long integral, but we're going to do it very quickly, and I hope you appreciate it. It's going to be awesome. Just note I got many modifications of this integral as well. Now we're going to use integration by parts, but first we're going to split it up into x cubed times x rather than x to the fourth, and I'm going to show you why we did that very shortly. Uh, now integration by parts is this right here, integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du, and we're going to set u equal to x cubed which is what we have right here, and therefore du using the power rule equals 3x squared dx. Now dv is going to equal everything else. This is dv right here, this is u, so this is dv, everything else, and the integral of this I did in another video equals to negative e to the negative x squared over 2. It's a very short video, but I hope you can appreciate that you can use substitution to do this integral, and if you take the derivative of this, you will get this. So there we go. All right, now we're going to substitute this in to our integration by parts equation where u is equal to x squared. That's what we have here, u and this is our v. We're going from zero to infinity. The limits don't change because we're still in terms of x. And now this is v, what we just evaluated. And then our du, du is this part right here that we substituted in. Okay, so we're looking at this first term. This is called the boundary term. And we can really plug in from infinity to zero. Now, infinity is not a number, it's a concept, so mathematicians don't like putting in infinity right here. They like it as the limit as this variable goes to infinity. But anyways, this first term goes to zero because the denominator goes to infinity faster than the numerator. And this other term goes to zero because we have a big fat zero here in the numerator. So this whole term, this whole thing becomes zero. And now we just need to evaluate this second part. So we're going to clean it up. And these two negatives cancel to make a positive. The 3 over 2, we're going to yank out of the integral. And now we have to deal with the integral of x squared, which I'm splitting up into x times x uh, times e to the negative ax squared. And I'm splitting this up for the same reason as why I split this one up. So we can do integration by parts again, uh, and then do this, sub uh, this integral using substitution. So u equals to x, so du equals dx. And now our dv is going to equal everything else, which is this. This is our dv, this part right here. Oh, sorry, this part right here is dv. And then the integral of, of this is what we just did. We just did this one here. So it's the exact same integral. So v is going to equal to negative e to the negative x squared over 2. Now we can substitute that in to integration by parts. So u is x. Here's our x. And our v is this right here. v is right here. This negative is part of the v right here. I just pulled the negative out. We're going from 0 to infinity, and the 3 over 2 comes along for the ride. Now we have v here inside the integral, just like what we have here. This is our v. And then our x dx, or du, is equal to dx. That's the same, so we plug that in. And now this term here, also, we have the same scenario as here. So everything's going to go to zero because the denominator is going to infinity faster than the numerator. And this one's zero because we have a zero here in the numerator. So this, this boundary term is zero. And now this right-hand side, this we're going to, I'm going to clean this up very quickly where these two negatives cancel to make a positive, And then we get 3 over 4 because this 2 comes out of the integral. But this integral, the integral of e to the negative x squared, this Gaussian integral uh, function is not an easy integral. Uh, I did a video on it in about three and a half minutes or something like that. So feel free to check that out if you want to know how I did it. Um, but it's, it's, it's not as intuitive as you may think. Um, but I'm just giving you the answer. It's root pi over 2. So check out how I did that if you need to know this integral. And this is really what we got. So if we multiply what this integral is, root pi over 2, by the 3 over 4, we get 3 root pi over 8. And that's what our integral is. So the integral of x to the fourth times e to the negative ax squared dx from 0 to infinity is 3 root pi over 8. All right, y'all. Good luck on your midterms, final exams, assignments, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.